A local woman made it her life mission to help children achieve their potential, giving away books in honor of Read Across America Day. And we want to talk more about that. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett explains how she is making a difference one page at a time. How are you guys? Whose birthday is today? In the halls of Chatham Elementary. What did Dr. Seuss do? He wrote what? He wrote stuff. Jennifer Williams is a familiar face. So I bought all of you a book for his birthday. Thursday, each student picked out a book to take home. All donated by Williams, lovingly known in Pennsylvania County as the book lady. Come on, go find you something you want. Her goal? give away a million books. I taught full time for 28 years and it's very, very obvious the kids who have access to books versus the kids who don't. Since 2017, I've given away 123,071 books. As a Title I school, William says not every family can provide books for their kids. So for some, this may be the first book they've ever owned. You're only designated Title I because you have a certain percentage of kids who fall at or below the poverty line. Clearly, if you're struggling to buy food and clothes and things like that, you're not buying books. On the heels of the pandemic, students across the country are still trying to make up for missed class time. Across Virginia schools, the pass rate for standard reading tests is 73%. At Chatham Elementary, it's 69%. While the county is slightly higher at 79, the city of Danville falls to 47. Principal Dr. Wanda Carter says learning loss is a real issue. Our reading and writing have been very, we're fighting a battle with that. Rather than complain in the bleachers, I'm going to work on the field. Listen, we've done this a couple of times over, haven't we? Instilling a lifelong love of reading. It's just a passion. It's just a passion. It doesn't have anything to do with... Um, I actually work two jobs in order to buy books, and I don't mind that at all. I don't. Um, I don't have any children. My husband and I don't. And so, um, so I've adopted them all. One book at a time. Thank you. In Chatham, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.